So in this example, um, ladies and gentlemen, the main important thing that the main important thing here is now you guys can see we have an equation that is a logarithm. Yep. Okay. So now we have a logarithm that we're going to be solving. Now, just like the exponential, the first thing we want to do is isolate. Just like we had in the exponential, we wanted to isolate our exponent. And with the logarithm, the main important thing is we want to isolate our logarithm. So to do that, the first thing I'm going to do is undo adding 8. So I'm going to subtract an 8 on both sides. Jason, you might want to write this one down. OK. Now, you can see that a 9 is being multiplied by my logarithm. So to undo multiplying by 9, I'm going to divide by 9. So I have log um, of x is equal to a negative 5 ninths. Okay? Now, um, now what we can simply do is you say, all right, well, how am I going to solve this? Because now I'm trying to take the log of x. Well, the main important thing, ladies and gentlemen, when we're solving logarithmic, when we did exponential, if you guys remember, we took, when we did exponential, we took the, um, we took the log of both sides, right? We introduced the logarithm to help us solve. Now we have a logarithm. So to solve for this, I'm actually going to want to go back to exponential form. So to do that, you can take, the, you could raise it to the power on each side like we did with logarithms. Or what I prefer to do, is raise each one to, um, uh, what I prefer to do is rewrite it in exponential form, which we started the class off with, started the class off with, which would have been 10 to the negative 5 ninths is equal to x. So by rewriting it in exponential form, by rewriting this in exponential form, I can now, I can solve for this. Now remember, whenever you have a negative exponent, you're going to want to rewrite that as 1 over x to the 5 ninths. Oops, sorry, 10 to the 5 ninths. So um, you guys could obviously rewrite that as a radical expression if you'd like. Or what I just prefer to do is put that as 5 ninths. So I'd type this in my calculator. 1 divided by 10 raised to the 5 divided by 9 power. And I get 2.7825, which I'll round to. How you plug that into a calculator? Um, well, basically what you do is you know you can divide by 9. So there's a couple different ways you can do